of song ready this morning. We're so thankful for what we've already been able to feel and witness this morning. We're proud of these uh, young ladies that was baptized this morning. We love them from the bottom of our heart this morning. Thankful for all of you being here at Crossroads Baptist Church this morning. Just continue in prayer. This is the day that the Lord has blessed us with. Come out and be a part of this service. Lift up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're visiting here with us, don't feel like a visitor, but just join in with our service here at Crossroads this morning. And most of all, if you've never accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, we hope and pray this is the good day. You come and accept him before it's everlasting too late. The Lord has blessed Crossroads with a wonderful, wonderful revival this last past week. And let's just keep on in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's just lift him up here this morning. Now, at this time... We're going to ask these young ladies, if they would, to step out front, and we're going to come around and extend y'all the right hand of church fellowship this morning. So we shake a lot of hands around here, and that's, that's all right. So as we do this, and we stand to our feet and sing these verses of song, just shake hands one with another, making sure everyone feels welcome in the house of the Lord this morning. <laughs> Jesus took me in and built a life from heaven to my soul.
Uh, good morning. Certainly good to see each and everyone out here at Crossroads. And if you're visiting, we, we do pray a blessing over you while you're here. And welcome to those on Facebook Live as well that's joining in with us. I uh, have an announcement. I want to thank the congregation for the uh, love offering for our preachers for the revival services this week. Uh, we uh, collected $6,260. So thank you very much for the love offering to uh, um, uh, our reverend uh, pastor here, uh, Donnie Nix, and also to Sam Castleberry who came and, and uh, provided the messages throughout the week. We're certainly feeling blessed by all that has gone on, the Holy Spirit that was felt and the lost souls saved. We're certainly thankful for all that that, that happened here at Crossroads. Um, are there any other announcements? Mike, the uh, adult choir will be going to Juno on Tuesday night. Donnie's helping Brody at, up in Juno at Dawsonville, so we're going to go Tuesday night. I believe their services start at 7.30, so anybody can come and be with us on Tuesday night. Yeah, let's remember that. <coughs> any other announcements? Uh, since we didn't have Sunday school, uh, birthdays. Who had birthdays this la last past week that we've had? Ah, I see one right there. <laughs> any other birthdays? How old were you? <laughs> you hold the fingers up six. Any other birthdays? They had a birth. They had a birth, yes. <laughs> that is a birthday. So it's Bailey Faye, born on Thursday. So you're doing good. Have a good time on the day. Amen. Uh, Taylor, will you lead us in happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday. Any other announcements? If not, if you'll turn to page 202, uh, let's sing uh, the old gospel shit. Page 202. <laughs> has got y'all some Bibles and uh, 
I'm going to tell you what, the Word of God, as old as you get and the older you get, it just becomes more precious unto you. And the Word of God, so we can read it and we can hide it in our heart. As the Bible teaches us, we might not sin against Him, but you see that Word, when it's engrafted in our heart, sometimes we might even be at school or might be anywhere, wherever uh, life may lead you, but you think about the Scriptures and how it can be an encouragement unto you. And so you take that and you treasure the very Word of God this morning. Let's give these a round of applause this morning. We appreciate the song service this morning so, so very much. We don't feel like calling on anyone in particular to pray this morning. But we just trust that everyone might just pray for just a little while. We appreciate these two preacher brethren being here with us this morning. We love them. Uh, they're members over at Long Street. And, and we appreciate them so, so very much. And let's just lift up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in this place this morning. If you're here and do not know Jesus as your Savior, we hope and pray you'll come and accept Him before it's everlasting too late. What an honor it is to stand on this day. And some of you may have your Bibles, and if you do, we want to turn into Psalms this morning, the very first chapter. We're going to read some there, and God been our helper read some out of the 17th chapter of Jeremiah also this morning. So we want to talk this morning to these that have been baptized and accepted the Lord Jesus Christ for just a little while. But also through uh, the help of the Lord, we want to talk to each and every one of you, the church, also this morning. But we realize this morning that it's our faith and belief in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's what has gained us eternal life. But we also realize this morning that after salvation has come to our hearts and to our souls, we can grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus. We know and realize this morning that it's our choice as Christians, the relationship that we have with Jesus, we can draw closer unto Him if we choose to do so. We can draw closer in a spiritual life, a spiritual relationship with Him if we choose to do so. And this is what the Bible says out of Psalms, this first chapter. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor setteth in the seat of the scornful. Listen this morning, I, I thought about how these uh, young converts, these Christians, they're going to be walking in the world that we live in today, and how important that it is that they find themselves these folks that they love to be around, these Christian people, and how that they find their steps, maybe stepping for the Lord Jesus Christ. We have to realize this morning that how this little generation right here, how younger folks, how we need to be praying for them, that they'll reach a lost and dying world. How you see how this generation that's coming along, how they need the Lord Jesus Christ more than ever. And I'm thankful for the boldness and courage how that we see in these young ladies. And I believe they'll live for the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen to what it says. It says, But His delight is in the law of the Lord. And in this law doth He meditate day and night. I hope and pray that each and every one of us that we go with a prayer upon our heart. I hope and pray this morning that we meditate upon the Lord Jesus Christ. I thought about one time, long time ago, how that I heard a man of God say this. He said, how you read the Word of God and then you meditate on it a lot. In other words, you take that Word of God and you carry it inside of your heart and your mind, how that you might meditate on it day and night. How that being said, the ways of the Lord Jesus Christ, if we keep that in our heart and we meditate it in our mind, it'll help you and I in each and every day of our lives 
it will help these young converts how with decisions that they make in their life and how important how these decisions are. It says, And he shall be like a tree planted by the river of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like shaft which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Now if I had a little thought that I want to share with everyone this morning, is let your roots run deep. Let your roots run deep. I thought about this morning that we know that when we're saved and born again, we're planted in the Lord Jesus Christ. How we're planted beside that water. And that water, that river this morning, we realize that is the Lord Jesus Christ. It's eternal life. And how that river and how that water, how why that we are so much depend on even Hawaiian of fleshly sins. But this living water in the Lord Jesus Christ, this river of life that we read about in the Word of God. I believe how this river of life, it comes straight out of heaven today. And let your roots how run deep. I thought about how why around Crossroads Baptist Church we know that there are roots of the church that it how runs deep when we think about how those that have prayed how down through the generations of time how for Crossroads Baptist Church and those that are living today how that are still praying how for Crossroads Baptist Church we think about how families today and we think about how families are rooted in the community and we praise God for families how that are rooted how right here at Crossroads Baptist church, how we think about crossroads, how being rooted how right here, how right in this community, in the river of life, how that flows through a crossroads Baptist church, how being the Lord Jesus Christ. But listen this morning, these young converts this morning, they're planted in Jesus. How they're planted in Him this morning. And I'm going to tell you what I want to say unto them this morning. Let your roots run deep. I listen this morning. I study the Word of God. I let your spiritual life, I let it be rooted why? in the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? That you might be that evergreen tree. No matter what season that you're in, why of life, that evergreen tree, it's always why green in all seasons. Why? Of the year. I pray that Crossroads Baptist Church continue how to be rooted how wide the word of the Lord and rooted how wide that river of life and let those roots run deep how that it might stand as an evergreen tree how wide this community how wide evergreen tree stands how wide even in drought we think about how wide this landing country and what shape that it may be in and what shape that it might uh, be in a worse shape some of these days. Uh, but I'm going to tell you what the Word of God, uh, when we're rooted in that, uh, uh, we can rest assured that we know about uh, why eternal life, uh, that living water, when we're rooted uh, why in the Word of God, uh, we stand uh, as an evergreen tree, uh, why in all seasons, uh, why of our life. And no matter what comes along in this world that we live in today, today being rooted uh, why in the Word of God, uh, listen this morning how precious that it is uh, how that we see the church uh, and the beauty of it today, uh, how being rooted in the Word of God, being rooted and planted uh, why next to that river of life, uh, how that it might bring forth 
fruit uh, uh, just as it has uh, uh, this last past week we've seen uh, uh, while those that had came to know uh, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ that's because you're rooted uh, in that river of life you're rooted uh, uh, while the Lord Jesus Christ but listen there's more to do uh, there's more to do we think about this revival that we've had uh, just don't let it stop uh, uh, let the revival continue uh, uh, listen as these children start back to school this next week uh, uh, listen I hope they go uh, with great courage and confidence in knowing uh, what they're rooted in oh today uh, listen I can talk about that so much this morning uh, there's so many people today uh, why it don't matter which way the wind blows uh, uh, that's the way they go uh, but I'm going to tell you these little children that come into the house of God uh, while we have a chance to give them the word of God uh, let them be rooted uh, while their faith let them be rooted uh, while what they believe in that when uh, while they go to school whether on the ball field or uh, whatever ever activity that uh, they might be involved in that uh, they might show that Christian character uh, that somebody may look at them and say they're just a little bit different uh, they're not rooted in things of the world they're a little bit different they're rooted uh, around the Lord uh, Jesus Christ they're rooted in that faith uh, listen this morning uh, the Bible says in Jeremiah uh, 17 it says blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope whose hope the Lord is once again it says this, For he shall be as a tree planted by the river, by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh. But her leaves shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of a drought, neither shall cease from yielding a fruit. I believe these young converts this morning I believe they're going to bear some fruit, don't you? I believe they're rooted in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we're going to be very much in prayer for them. Those roots, that they run deep in Jesus and deep in the Word of God. I'm thankful this morning uh, that I was grown up in a family uh, that had some roots about it that was rooted in the Word of God. I'm thankful this morning how uh, to be at a church how uh, that we serve that's rooted in the Word of God, that your uh, roots, how uh, they run deep today. Uh, but I'm going to tell you what this morning, uh, let's just keep on uh, why by the river of life, let's just keep on uh, being that evergreen tree in our community. Uh, let's just keep on and let our faith continue to grow. Uh, why in the Lord Jesus Christ and root uh, more down in Him uh, that we might stand uh, for Him today. If we've ever lived in a day and time uh, where the world that we live in today uh, needs to be able to see the difference uh, uh, between world of things, why in godly things, be able to see the difference in a lost people and saved people. It's the world that we live in today. And you may say, preacher, how why how we don't seem like we can make that big a difference. I'm going to tell you what the difference is and where the rubber meets the road this morning. How why if we just see one more come to the saving grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ and gain eternal life and escape that awful place called hell it'll be worth it all it'll be worth it all uh, listen this morning uh, why Jesus Christ uh, why the vine uh, the Bible teaches us in the book of John uh, why that vine uh, listen uh, we're planted uh, we're rooted uh, we're grafted into that vine we can't do nothing uh, without the vine being the Lord uh, why Jesus Christ this morning uh, and listen the Bible teaches us in John uh, why the vine and everything uh, why about it that bears not fruit he cut it away from it uh, while that it might purge forth more fruit uh, for the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray this morning that we understand that as God's people. Some things in life that we just seem like that's been uh, taken away and He 
uh, takes them from us, whatever it may be. Uh, listen, it's for His uh, glory. It's for His good. It's for His cause of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to read one more place this morning. God being our helper out of the book of John. The 15th chapter. And I'm going to tell you what. And I want to talk to these converts for just a moment. Just because you've been saved and born again, that don't mean that the world's not going to throw struggles and troubles at you. Every once in a while you'll get down and out. That joy in your heart and soul, it'll have to be restored. And it's restored through a repentance in Jesus. It's restored through drawing closer to Him. But He leaves you and I a recipe I'm talking about to those who have been saved and born again, that how we might have joy in our lives, and it might remain. Listen to what it says in this ninth verse. Has a father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue in my love. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my father's commandments. And abide in his loves. Listen now. These things I have spoken unto you. That my joy might remain in you. And that your joy might be full. This is my commandment that you love one another. As I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this. That a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends if you do whatever I so command. You have a friend in the Lord Jesus Christ. You have a friend that sticketh closer than any brother. You have a friend that will be with you no matter where life takes you. You have a friend that you can call upon in the late night hours, the early morning hours, there when you're at school, there wherever you may be. You have a friend in the Lord Jesus Christ. Aren't you glad this morning that He teaches you and I about how to have joy in our lives? And I'll say this unto these young converts and to each and every one of us that are here this morning and those that are listening by way of the sound of my voice this morning, if you ever don't know what to do in life, if you ever get to decisions in life or whatever it may be, just love. I just love today. Uh, whatever the situation may be, uh, you may think I don't know what to do. I don't know how to witness to that person or this person. Uh, listen, I don't know what they believe, what they might think about me. Just love as the Lord Jesus Christ would. Just love. And I'm going to tell you what. I continue to let those roots uh, be rooted uh, while the Lord Jesus Christ continue Oh, why let your faith grow in Him today. Uh, now these young converts, uh, uh, you know what today, uh, why it's a great responsibility unto the church today that we continue to nurture them, uh, that we help them, uh, that we pray for them, uh, that we love them, uh, that we encourage them. Uh, and listen, by doing so, I'm going to tell you what they'll do. Uh, they'll be a witness to a lost and dying world how uh, we, we encourage one another to get out and witness uh, uh, for the Lord Jesus Christ how uh, uh, we'll see the gospel spread how uh, we'll see others come under the saving grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ so that's why it's so important to let those roots run deep uh, uh, why the Lord Jesus Christ uh, stay next uh, uh, why did that living water that it might nurture uh, uh, under our spiritual beings today that we might continue to be uplifted in the Lord Jesus Christ. We never know the hearts and minds of people here today. They may be somebody here that has never been saved. The Spirit of God is knocking upon your heart's door. It may be the day, it may be the hour uh, that you need to come and accept Jesus as your personal Savior. Uh, you can this morning if you're lost and undone and step out on faith and come uh, to the altar and bow right there where you're at, but simply ask uh, Jesus in your heart and soul. He'll save you this morning. Uh, listen, I've seen it 
What about you, church? I've seen the gospel work. I've seen the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. I do the things that no one else can. I just like it can this morning and let you know and realize that you're lost and undone and need to come and be saved. So as we stand to our feet this morning, on this Sunday morning that the Lord has blessed us all to be a part of. If you're lost, come and be saved. Uh, listen this morning. Uh, wife, you just need to root in uh, just a little bit more. Up there, I've been saved for many years, but you just uh, need to draw a little bit closer uh, to the Lord Jesus Christ. You do that. I'm going to tell you what I believe. That's what happened around Crossroads Baptist Church this last past week in revival. Uh, the church was rooted in, but yet it's rooted in just a little bit more that it might let its light so shine in the world that we live in today. How oh, why? How that it might glorify how the Father how that is in heaven. How oh, listen, church, you follow the Lord. If there's anything you need to do in this hour, let it be done. How uh, you say, uh, what about it? We, uh, while we've toiled all week, uh, while we've seen souls saved, uh, we've come to this Sunday. Uh, listen, I uh, will never be gathered just like we are anymore. I uh, will never be gathered just like this. Uh, and I'll assure you one thing. Uh, uh, while time permits, uh, uh, while I'll be at Juno, uh, uh, while at 7.30 tonight in revival, uh, but that that time may never come, but we have right now, and we have this time, how to worship the Lord Jesus Christ. And for lost boys and girls, men and women, to come and be saved. So what about it today, church? Follow the Lord. Whatever it is you need to do, if you're lost, come and be saved. As we sing this verse of song, what about it this morning? Won't you just come just come unto Jesus. Uh, listen, if you need to pray uh, just a little bit harder this morning, how uh, to draw closer unto Him, to be rooted uh, more in the Word of God, uh, listen, you do that this morning. Uh, that river of life in the Lord, uh, Jesus Christ, just follow Him. Follow Him this morning, we pray. We never know the hearts and minds of people. A relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a one-on-one -on -one individual thing uh, this morning. And listen, I'm going to tell you what that's the way it is. Uh, when we're saved and born again, I can look out uh, while I cross the congregation. Uh, while I can trust and believe in my heart that you're trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ. That you're being obedient unto everything uh, that He has you to do. Uh, but on an individual basis, on you, you know that this morning. If you're following Him and doing everything uh, that He bids you to do in this hour, Listen, whatever it is, if it's just to sing a little louder, if it's to pray a little harder, if it's to lift up your hand this morning in praise, you do that. And if you're lost, won't you come and be saved on this beautiful Sunday morning and this beautiful setting that He's blessed us uh, to be a part of this morning as a spirit abides here this morning. Won't you come and be saved as we sing another verse of songs. Just step out this morning, church. You follow the Lord this morning. Follow anything this morning. Let it be done in the house of the Lord. I glorify Him. He may praise and honor unto the Lord of Jesus Christ. What about this sign, Lord? Anybody, an impression, anything this morning? Well, I got one. I think I ain't to be here. You know what way to go mean? Mean up uh, bad for you. And I know, I know me with her. I mean, I know me with her. Bad for you. I mean, me with her. Mean 
niggas. Man, where the hell got that gold? And I think that you made up. Maybe that's because you played. Anyone else this morning? 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 Let's go. Let's remember this family. We might ask that you might be seated for just a moment this morning. As we come to this hour and we come to this time in life this morning, I love Crossroads Baptist Church. I love the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm so thankful for the things that the Lord has allowed us to see and witness around Crossroads Baptist Church. And you have to understand one thing this morning. I love the church so uh, listen in a way that you just can't understand. Uh, but listen this morning. What I want you to understand is this this morning. Uh, why when it comes time to elect another pastor in just a few weeks and everything that is going to take place, I want you to know this this morning, and I say this with everything humble heart that I can, if you elect me to be your pastor in this next upcoming year, it would be the greatest honor and privilege of my life to try to serve as your pastor for another year. But you understand this. Listen today, oh, why? listen this morning, if you go some other route, if you make some other decision, if you call somebody else to come and be your pastor, yeah, oh, why it will trouble me for just a little while, oh, but I'd rather hurt, oh, listen for a little bit, oh, than the church to be heard, I would never do anything intentionally how to hurt or disturb the peace of Crossroads Baptist Church. I love you this morning. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate the way that you have loved me and my family and how that we love y'all. And listen, I'm just looking for more good things to go on around Crossroads Baptist Church. I'm thankful this morning how that he's allowed me to be here for four years. And if I'm able to come and be back with you for another year, I'm going to thank him and praise him again. Listen, how well, I don't do everything right. How well, I'm sometimes the most backwards person. How well, I to be as a pastor. How well, listen, I just want to try my very best to serve him and to serve you. To serve the Lord Jesus Christ and to serve you. So may God bless you as our prayer on this Sunday morning. And I'd be honored to be your pastor. But if something else comes the other way, you just be sure you do what's best. What's best for the church. What's best for the church is what how that you need to do. So this morning, listen, I want to do this this morning. School is starting back. School is starting back in this next upcoming week. I don't know, has anybody already started to school? No, not yet. I know some of these teachers have, and they're loving it. So this morning, <laughs> we're going to do this this morning. We're going to ask all the students, all that's going to be involved in school, whether it's teachers, whether it's bus drivers, whatever it may be, lunchroom ladies, para pros, whatever it is that you're involved in the school system, let's just all stand to our feet and all those, let's just let them come forward. We're going to have a prayer and a dismissal prayer today. Let this be what we're going to do and how it's going to be done. Come on, Kim. You're going to play something while they come around. Y'all all come. Come on, close, close.
I wonder if anyone got a word you'd love to say this morning. Anything. What a beautiful. Yes. Beautiful sight. And as a song said, trust and obey, and that's. I'm retired. I'm not going back. <laughs> but I just want to say, make sure you do that. And everything you do. Right. That's it. I want to think that we'll have to save us. Bless your heart. Because <coughs> kids really need prayers to walk into school. Especially these in high school. Party. Anyone else? Johnny, I'm there to mention uh, my master church. Continue to pray for Dana. That's your job. Every day. I'm just going to bow right here. And let's just everyone pray. And I'm going to I'm going to lead this prayer. But everyone just pray this morning, okay? Lord, how that we love you this morning. And Lord, I'm thankful, Lord, for these children from the the smallest ones to the, the older ones, Lord, here this morning, how precious that they are. And Lord, when we look in their eyes, Lord, we just see how such love that they have. But we realize today, Lord, that we're living in a world, in a time and a generation, Lord, that has so much evil and so much corruption. But Jesus, we're trusting in you, Lord, that you'll look after them. Uh, Lord, some, Lord, will be starting school for the very first time. Uh, some will be going from elementary school to middle school, and some from middle school to high school, and high school to college. And whatever season that they are in their life, Jesus, I pray that you'll be with them and look after them. Put a hedge of protection around them when they're away from mom and dad and grandparents. And God, I pray for these teachers, Lord. I realize, Lord, that it's different time uh, that we live in today. They have uh, so much upon them that they have to look after and do. And I pray for strength and encouragement unto them and put a hedge of protection around them. We have seen and heard about things sometimes uh, that go on at school and these things that happen, these accidents and all these unforeseen things. Uh, but God, I pray uh, that you look after them and you nurture unto them and give them, uh, why not the spirit of fear, but of a power and of love, of love and of sound mind help them to be courageous and I pray these uh, teachers and all that's involved with the school system even these children uh, Lord when they get a little chance and opportunity uh, just help them to admit it I mention Jesus I mention you uh, Lord to the world that we live in and God, I pray, Lord, I uh, thank you today for everything that's went on here at Crossroads Baptist Church this last past week. Thank you for what's went on this morning. And we just praise your name for it all. And uh, help us to go, help us to stand up and be good soldiers for you. We ask it your sweet and holy name. Amen. We love all of you. Anything else this morning? Let's just lift up our hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You're living to go. <coughs>